from the judge. Wants me to ask you a few questions for your trial date. Look, Lieutenant, I'm sure you've seen a lot of murders in this room, but I'm not like them. What makes you different, Kyle? I've got evidence against you that is absolutely overwhelming. So why don't you just tell me what happened yesterday afternoon? It was self-defense! I know you think it's my fault, it was self-defense. Kyle, self-defense, the autopsy report says it looks more like a butcher's job than self-defense. So why don't you just tell me, why did you kill your old man? Because I hated him! Because I hated him. You do the same thing. You're going to have to help me understand this, Kyle. I was a straight-A student with no prior convictions, lash out and do something like this. Because he made me do stuff I didn't want to do. So, so you're saying that he forced you? No, he never forced me. He played weird mind games. Well, how long has that been going on? About five years. Five years? That's a long time for all that rage to build up. Has it always been like that with him? No. When I was a kid, we used to do a lot of fun stuff. Then things changed. Started doing weird stuff like shoplifting and vandalism. And then he got me hooked on porn. When I was addicted, he beat me for being addicted in the first place. It's like I was some kind of slave is or something. What kind of man would do that in the right mind? All right, all right, come on. Now just tell me about yesterday. How did this thing get started? He'd been yelling at me all day. Couldn't take it no more. So the afternoon, I'm out to the shed. Got me a spike and an old claw hammer. He's in the living room. He's on the couch getting drunk as normal. He's going to sneak up behind him. Just up there, about to hit him. He jumps up and starts yelling at me. Oh, but I wasn't scared of him this time. See, yesterday, I got on my knees and I prayed to God. I haven't done that since I was a little boy. Pray that he'd help me kill this man. Pray that he'd give me the courage. And when I got the courage, I cornered him. And then he was trying to sweet talk me, tell me all the good times we had, all the pretty women and the parties we went to. None of that mattered and it didn't make me happy. So I began to hit him like, over and over and over again. And I stabbed him to make sure he was dead. Didn't want to do it. Push me too far. But I have no regrets. Except I should have done it five years ago. Psh, yeah, I know. I'll probably spend life in prison. Psh, any place is better with him. Kyle, by your own admission, your own statements, you're guilty of premeditated murder. So the judge says, you go free. What? Why are you letting me go? You let yourself go, Kyle. When you took that hammer, and that spike, and you crucified your old man, your old nature once and for all. In fact, now here's a pardon from the judge. He who has died is free from sin. You are now a dead man walking. Free. That's right. Thank you, guys. Powerful truth.